Right, the old block is back on the lathe. The reason for this is because I'm uh, destroying the bits on here so I don't destroy it on the second block, which is when I've welded up. Um, I've changed the way I do my boring bar. That's now fixed directly to the bed. Um, I've changed, also changed my bit. I've got another bit to try out, so I'll cut a little, I'll try that on with a bit. So this is the uh, round bit. I'm going to try a triangle a bit, see if that makes any better. I've really heavily cut the second or the third step in there, and you can see that, uh, actually, there you go, some bits have broke away. On Paul's Cart's videos, you notice when he shows you a three inch bore, that when he shows you a side view of the crankcase, uh, in other words, with the cover off, these bits were always broken away, and now I can see why, because the sleeve liner, which is cast as part of this block crankcase, um, it's a steps liner. So in other words, it's five mil wall up to about, sorry, up to about here, and then steps down to two mil, or two and a half mil, the rest of the way. And you can obviously see why. Um, one, it stops the liner from sliding down or moving, because it's got a step to prevent it. But also, um, you can see that, so I'm going to just, Right, that's probably better. That is the bearing casing on the actual fixed side of the block. So he's better there. So you have to be very careful that you don't hit it or go up against it. So what I've got to do is I've got to use this liner which I didn't think I was going to be using because I know it's all loose here but that stops and that stops on that step so I will machine the new one so the original cast liner will still be in there and then I'll put this sleeve on there but the actual original cast liner will disappear uh, when I get down to, I'm trying to get my finger out of the way, when I get down to here, when I take out the thin wall part of the original sleeve liner. That's the idea. So I've got a little bit more work on here to do, and then I'll be on uh, that block there. Yeah, this one, which is, it's all welded up ready to be redone right so this is uh, part 3 of the video uh, we have the original liner that was ordered the new one from West Cylinder Liners and the piston so first of all this is the old block I've got a little bit of a pleasant surprise myself I think because that will go in if it's um, measured accurately. There are a couple of places, as I've said before, it might be my fingers actually, the dirty marks up there, but you can see where there's breakthrough areas which need to be addressed before the liner goes in. This is the new liner and my piston. And this is a close. That's how close it is. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see, but I've got to take off a very small amount. So it's going to be probably one little pass and then the rest of it's going to be owning. And that's going to be the perfect size. And it's a two and a half mil, three mil um, wall. So I can do my little step that needs to be done in here to do for the bottom. Um, this allows a little bit more meat at the bottom as well. So we're okay there. If we go over to the lathe, the 
block is all welded in. Um, I've gone like the pause cart sort of route just because I could. Um, and again, this is how easy my life is made with this guide. So that's just sitting in with the um, crankshaft lock. That's my sleeve. I've not done any measuring yet. All I have to do is a little bit of tapping and this is how easy it is. I mean, there's no effort of pushing that in at all. Now this is, remember this is actually a tight fit or it's a, it's not an interference fit, but it's a passable fit and it runs lovely and square. I will lock it all in in a minute. Now for the machine. Okay, so the first stage of the cut is done. I'm now just broke through this step part of the sleeve. Now this sleeve will be uh, cut out and it's still going to be about 80 mil but that's how much I think I've probably got about another three mil to cut on this sleeve yet so that's my step that I've got to uh, work out and machine on to the other sleeve